All right, y'all, let's get into this simple, yummy recipe. Coating the base of my pan with some olive oil, followed by cutting my steak into cubes. Some of them I've already cut, but I'm gonna demonstrate to you how it's done. A great source of hem iron here. Make sure that you keep your uh, countertops, anything that you're using raw meat on, keep it cleaned constantly. That's the look. I'm simply using salt, pepper, garlic powder, and olive oil. Gonna mix it together and then put it in that um, oil. I have it on medium heat, but do know your stove. I'm cooking them for one minute each on each side. I like a little char on the top. Now you cook it according to your desired um, style. Shallots, dice them. Removes my meat using the same oil. And then I'm also going to add in some green onions diced with peppers. I'm, I'm not, pff, not peppers, butter that is. Mix all of that nice and good. There's my minced garlic going in. You can see those colors are coming in now as, it, as the heat merges all of those flavors together. The colors are nice and vibrant. All kind of nutritious goodness is going up in there. Ah, and then you add your meat. Again, cook your meat to the temperature that you desired based on the, um, the way that you like to eat your beef. So I'm just making sure mine is nicely even poured. Now, I am pouring in red wine vinegar, and I'm also going to use a balsamic glaze. You can use Worcestershire sauce if you'd like. I like the woodsy, bold kick of this balsamic glaze. And I've turned my heat down as well. Again, cook your meat to the temperature that you desire. Just mixing it a little bit, letting all those juices ah, merge together. And then finally, my grand finale is thyme. And you can add any other additional herbs that you want. If you like to do a little basil, that goes great as well. And then you can combine any kind of vegetables or if you want to do some rice, some mashed potatoes and let this be the topping. Bon appetit. Be well, behold.